Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today guys, we're going to be doing a tutorial on a brand new pumpkin and melon farm. Now, what we're using here is a new style where we use observer blocks to actually monitor the stems. And this is actually, it's not a new concept. I've actually seen this with El Mango and Mumbo and a few other YouTubers, and I want to give them awesome credit for really setting the platform for this. But I really wanted to create my own spinoff. Now, as you can see guys, so this is a 100% efficient system and they all get collected and sent directly to that chest in front of us. See? And the cool thing here guys, we even have a light indication to let you know when things are going in the chest and when the chest gets filled up. Now the magic happens under here guys, we're using the good old fashioned minecart hoppers and power rails and once this go back and forth, it collects everything from front to back and brings it to these hoppers and they all get sent to this really small item elevator that shoots directly into the chest in front of us. See? And it's that simple, guys. Now, let's jump right into it. You will need a 9 wide by 3 long part in the front, but the rest in the back, you can really make this as long as you want. Because the design is so tolerable and so infinite, it's really your choice on how big you want to make this. Now, right here on the side, we're going to go about two blocks from the wall and place one block right there and extend that five blocks in total. See? Then you're going to place a block on the side going inwards and behind it, an observer block. Now, you're going to go back and forth with this pattern all the way till you get to the back of your actual size farm. Just make sure when you get to the end, you place one block there and it has to be parallel to this. This is kind of how you kind of end it off at, you see? So one block inwards from the farmland itself, which is the white area. And you're going to go right back to the front, place the block next to the observer and repeat the same thing. See? So block observer, block observer, block observer. And the reason we're doing it this way is because it's real tight quarters when you get down to it. And I'll, I'll show you a little reason why later on in the video why we have to do it like that. Now, of course, delete those blocks, delete all those temporary blocks, and you should have these kind of floating observer set up like so. Now, once you've done that, place your regular pistons facing downwards in between each one where we, re where we um, originally placed the blocks at. Okay. Then you'll place more pistons on this side. And you're going to go on the side of it of the observer blocks and place some more pistons facing downwards. Then repeat that on the interior side of it and on the outside on this side as well. You see? Fantastic. Now, for the inside of this spacing, I actually use jack lanterns because they're really easy to make and it really goes nice with the build. But use some kind of lighting to really spruce this whole design up. And on the side, I just simply use some regular blocks like oak wood planks just to fill in that gap. Perfect. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go right here in the center. Then you're going to go about one block in, place a dropper there. Then you're going to place a block on the side with a comparator going forward. Then you're going to make sure that comparator is on subtract mode with a block in front of it, a rest of dust, a block on the side of it with a repeater going forward, some rest of dust in front of it, another repeater, a block in front of that. Then you're going to place a block on the side and some rest on dust so that you can activate all this at once. And the reason we have to do this is for the light indication. Now, right over here, guys, you're going to place a large chest like so. Now, ideally, guys, you guys want to place a few hoppers going outwards, at least about two to three, and extend it on both sides. Now, the fun part about this, keep in mind, this is going to be your collection area. So if you want to make more hoppers just to kind of expedite things, you could do that. Now, for now, let's delete the chest. We're going to put that back later. We're going to add two blocks right there, two blocks right here. And starting from the hopper, well, we're using two. We're going to place one, 
I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the knife one, it's ideally you want to break these blocks and add some redstone torches. And place that back until you get to this point about one block from the back wall. And then fill this all up parallel. See? Then you can place one, two, three with a gap in between. And those are going to be temporary. Now, the reason we have this set up, because no matter what direction you set this up, you want to go right across first on the sides with some power rails. Leave a gap in the middle. Remember, we're out. We're a little past that point, you see? And then repeat that one more time in the middle, right across. Leaving that gap in the center. And do that on um, this side as well. Because rails act funny depending on the direction. But if you place it like this, going one block in, and then extend it forward, and one block before it, you would never have any issues no matter what direction you're setting this up. Now, once you've done that right across and you have this kind of look, now you can delete these two blocks, the power rails, and these two blocks, and you got this perfect rail setup. And in the back as well, just delete those blocks because you don't need them. This is simply just to prevent a headache when setting this up. Now, once you've done that, place some cobblestone right on the side of it in the back end. And we're going to wrap this right around, make a nice little area. Perfect. Hey, by the way, if I sound a little funny on the mic, I am having some allergy issues and it's really kicking my butt. So I apologize if I do sound funny. Now, at this point, add some minecart hoppers on the rails to get this kind of effect. And you're going to fill up the rest with some cobblestone to kind of cover this up. See? And when you get to the front here, guys, you can even add some dirt right across. But ideally, what you want to do is just simply cover this whole top section up. It's going to really help you out in the build. Now, this is completely optional. If you want to delete that block, add a resto lamp there. And there you have it. That's your light indication system. Now, starting from here, about one block from the wall, you're going to add a straight row of blocks to leave both ends. Place a stair right there and kind of wrap it to that point, and then place another stair and to continue the wrap. Now, we're going to replicate that on this side as well. So, starting from there, place your block right there, extend it right across. Place a stair and just wrap that right around perfectly, leaving the middle empty. And I'll explain why. Because now this makes it really easy for us to place the dirt right across from that point and just fill up this entire gap right on top of each power rail. See? Then you're going to get your diamond hole or your hole to really set up the planting process here by farming the land and planting the seed directly underneath the observer block. That's highly important. Make sure you do that. Now, this will work great with pumpkin or melon seeds. Fantastic. It's a really easy setup. It's not too hard. It really makes it fun. And the beauty about this, guys, you could really make this any size you want. So if you don't have a big space, you can make this really small. But if you want to go crazy and make this 60, 70, 80 blocks long, it's your choice. And if you really want to speed this up as far as the seeds growing, it's completely optional. Use some bone mill. I even have a tutorial for that as well. Now, this is the key to all this, guys. Make sure you add one piece of redstone dust right on top of each observer block. Otherwise, they will not activate the pistons. Now, over here, guys, we're going to add a straight row of blocks from front to back. And about every, four, or every fifth block, you're going to place a stair or leave it empty. And I'll show you a little more what I mean to leave it empty. Now, with the new updates, guys, we are able to put a water source in that stair. Okay, and ideally, that's going to act as if it's, you know, fertilizing the entire area. Because water could fertilize anything that's four blocks from it. So now we're going to replicate what we did on the other side. Like I said, leave a gap. 
with four blocks in between, then a gap, and another set of four blocks, and then add your stairs right across. Now, of course, guys, you could I'll leave that option on how you want to set that water up source, but you can either place it like that or even add your stair in there to really make it even more discreet. See? Perfect. Then, of course, you want to add some glass around the entire design just because you don't want any pumpkins or melons kind of falling into that side and not getting picked up. And one right there. And right on top, guys, you're going to wrap this entire front end with some spruce stairs or any kind of stairs you want to use to really decorate this. Perfect. Then you're going to do the same thing one more time right on the top edge here so you get this look. And all you have to do now is add a slab right on top and just cover up this entire top section. At this point, guys, the design is complete and it's fully automatic and good to go. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.